Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Nick Summer with your midday Arklamis update. A man has been arrested and charged with murder following a house fire in Monroe. First responders were called to a house fire in the 100 block of Davison Drive in Monroe just before midnight on Friday. Once that fire was put out, four bodies were found inside that residence. Washita Parish Sheriff's investigators determined they were victims of a homicide. Further investigation led to the arrest of Michael Cooper. Cooper has been booked into the Washita Correctional Center on charges of first degree murder and aggravated arson. The bodies have been sent for autopsy and their identities are not being released right now and that investigation is still ongoing. Well, distracted driving causes about 3,000 deaths per year in the United States. Because of this, the National Road Safety Foundation is encouraging people to be aware of distractions on the road. NBC 10's Abby Price has more details as April is Distracted Driving Awareness Month. For many of us, when we think of distracted driving, we may only think of our phones. And while electronics are high on the list of driving distractions, other things like eating or even having a conversation can lead to potentially fatal crashes. Well, April is Distracted Driving Awareness Month, and there are some important things to know so that you can drive safely and avoid being a distracted driver. From the, the Memorial Day weekend until the Labor Day weekend, it's called the 100 deadliest days for teen drivers. The teen death rate literally triples during that time. And before all of that gets started, we're trying to raise as much awareness because distraction happened to be one of the primary things um, why teens are in car crashes. Michelle told me more about how driving distractions can take many forms and why it's so important to be aware of different types of impaired driving. A lot of people are not considering the fact that if you have a cup of coffee in your cup holder, that is a distraction for you to look down, grab that cup of coffee, and then bring it to your mouth to drink it. Drinking and eating, engaging in an in-depth conversation. That is a distraction. This Awareness Month is not only for drivers. Passengers also play a crucial role in keeping those in the car safe. Uh, ask your passengers to please be mindful that you are driving to keep it down to a minimum and to definitely not, um, you know, try to engage you too much in a conversation. You can speak up with care, with concern. Let them know, look. I care about your life. I care about my life. We're encouraging passengers. Be those um, additional eyes for the driver. You can visit the National Road Safety Foundation website for free resources on preventing distracted driving. Reporting for your Oklahoma's News Source, I'm Abby Price. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Trey Tonneson. Showers and thunderstorms rumbled through north central Louisiana Monday morning and through the early morning hours. You heard that thunder, saw that lightning, but the good news is by the mid to late morning, those showers and thunderstorms will move off to the east, leaving the rest of your day dry of precipitation. However, those clouds will stick around into most of the day, mostly cloudy to overcast skies going to be the story today. Check out these highs into the upper 80s today, so quite warm. I'd even say that's pretty hot, but into the afternoon and evening. Warmth continues into the overnight hours as well, into the low 70s for overnight uh, low temperatures tonight. So a little bit above average for this time of year and may feel quite muggy at times. But as we head into tomorrow, keep in mind we are under a severe potential in parts of our area. But if you notice, compared to the last few runs and outlooks of this particular event, things have shifted more to the south and west, leaving us less vulnerable to severe weather development and potential, which is definitely a good thing. But the beam, we're in shade, so it's it's still a possibility, just a little bit less than it has looked like it would be throughout the last few days. But on to the rest of the week. Stalled front being, brings plenty of rain and stalled activity. It brings instability, some thunderstorms as well. Just watch out for flash flooding through the mid to back half of your week. But for now, our eyes are on tomorrow with a severe chance into the afternoon and more so into Wednesday morning. To stay on top of every news story in the Arklamis, make sure you download the NBC 10 News app. All you have to do is search KTVE in the Apple, Apple App Store or on Google Play. That's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily continues.